Hi, I'm Jillian, and today I'm going to show you how to make a scarf using a really cool crochet technique called finger crochet. The best part of this technique is that you don't need any hooks or needles. All you need are two skeins of yarn, a pair of scissors, and your fingers. Even if you've never crocheted or knitted before, I feel like this is something that you could definitely do. Right now, super chunky yarns are really hot and trendy, and we have some great ones available in our stores and online. Loops and Threads makes a yarn called Biggie and Huge, which is really nice and fluffy, and this lovely colorful yarn called Ziggy, which is what we're going to be using to make our scarf today. The first step to making your scarf is creating a slip knot. Take the yarn and place it over your hand like so. You're going to wrap the yarn around, and in the back, tuck your working yarn through, creating a loop. Now pull that loop, and holding onto the tail, let go and pull it tight. Here's your slip knot. Now for this scarf, we need to chain 72 stitches. Reach through your slip knot with one or two fingers and your thumb and grab your working yarn and pull it through. That's one chain. Let's do it again. Reach through with these three fingers, grab the working yarn and pull it through. To have better control, make sure that you're moving your middle finger and your thumb up right below where you're working to hold on tight. Reach through and pull through. If you lose your grip, it's okay. It's easy to adjust. And remember to keep these chains, they don't have to be too tight because you've got to be able to reach your fingers through. So you're going to do this 72 times to complete your chain stitch. Now that you've finished 72 chains, I'm going to show you how to do your first row of single crochet. You're going to grab your chained piece and make sure it's horizontal. You're going to find the first bump, and this is the, one of the last chains you did, right here. And we're going to reach through that hole with both fingers and grab our working yarn. When you pull it through, and slide both back onto your finger and your thumb. So now you have two loops. Be sure to keep hold tight with your middle finger and your thumb so you can keep your tension. The next step in a single crochet is to reach back over and grab your working yarn and pull it through, leaving one loop on your thumb and your fingers in your right hand. Let's do that again. We're going to find the next bump. It's right here. I'm going to reach through and grab my yarn, pull it through and over so I have two loops, and then reach back over the top and grab my working yarn and slide it through. Now that you've finished your single crochet all the way down your chain and reach the end, I'm going to show you how to turn and go back. To do this, you're going to create one chain. Reach over and pull through, just like we learned in the beginning. Now you're going to flip your work over and hold it in your left hand. We're going to single crochet back through and the easy way to find where you need to go is to look for the V's. If you see the V here and here, that's where you're going to crochet through. So through that first V, reach through both strands, grab your yarn and pull it through over your thumb and your finger. Reach over the top and grab your working yarn and pull the loop through. Let's do it again. Here's the next V. I'm going to reach through, grab my yarn over my thumb and my fingers, reach over the top and pull the loop through. Keep doing this all the way down until you reach the end and then you'll do another chain stitch and turn. I just finished my sixth row and I'm happy with the width of my scarf. To get this width, I used exactly two skeins. Now it's time to knot off to finish the scarf. So I still have my fingers through the last loop. I trimmed my tail to about five or six inches. I'm going to pull the tail through the last loop and pull it tight. Lastly, you need to weave your tail in to hide it within your scarf. Just like we did before, we're going to look for the V's 
in our crochet and weave the tail in and out until it disappears completely. You can always trim off a little bit at the very end. Once you've finished this with your end tail piece, don't forget to go back and do it with your beginning tail piece as well. Can you believe how easy it was to make this scarf in about two hours? I can't wait to make more handmade gifts for my family, friends, and loved ones.